Hi everyone, it's Gina from Gina K Designs and welcome back to another five minute card video. Today I'm going to be using some Masking Magic masking paper and I'm going to be using our Snowflake die plate that comes in the new Winter Whimsy card kit. What I've done is I've cut that piece of Masking Magic with that die plate. Now I'm just gonna peel off the backing. Now this is a great way to use your die plate as a stencil. So I have my piece of cardstock cut to the same size as my die plate, which is three and a half inches by four and three quarter inches. And then I'm just lining that up onto my piece of cardstock. Now it does take a minute or so to cut out the die plate. And once you do, you can reuse this mask over and over again. Just use the same colors and you'll have really good luck reusing it. Okay, so I'm just gonna pat that down. And then I'm going to protect the stitches around the edges by using some post-it note paper. Now, if you don't have post-it note paper, you can also use Masking Magic for this or you can use just regular uh, copy paper, something like that, and tape it down with a little bit of purple tape. But this is a quick and easy way to just mask off those stitches because believe it or not, even though those stitches are so small, the ink will still seep in there. So I don't want any ink to seep in there. But this is such a beautiful die plate and it makes such a great stencil. Okay, so now once that's done, I'm going to start with some turquoise ink and I'm going to ink up segments of this stencil, my man-made stencil. Now I did this part in my release party video but I didn't turn it into a card. So I wanted to show you how pretty this looks as the backing of a card. Now, once you're done with the turquoise C, then we're gonna add a little bit of purple ink and I'm going to use some wild wisteria for this. Another color that's really pretty to blend into this mix is a little bit of jelly bean green or apple mint, but I'm gonna stick with the two color blend for now. And even though this looks very vibrant as I'm inking here, it's going to be a very soft look. It almost gives you the look of a warm sweater. And you can make lots of these panels and put them away for cards for the future. So once you have this mask cut, just keep reusing it, keep blending out these panels, and then you'll be able to mass produce some really nice holiday cards. Okay, going back over it again with the turquoise just to make sure I didn't miss any spots. I might have a little piece of masking paper under there, but we'll see what that looks like. So now I'm going to peel off all of these post-it notes. You can reuse these, just let them dry a little bit. because They don't seem to stick as well when they've got wet ink on them. Okay. And now I'm going to peel off that piece of Masking Magic. And look how pretty that is. Isn't that just so soft and pretty? And this could be used, you could glue this onto another white panel to make a card, or you can keep it with your supplies and use it over and over again. Now I'm going to adhere this onto a black piece of cardstock. And these could easily be cut with the Master Layouts 2 die set which is exactly the same size as our die plates. Or you can freehand it. And then I'm gonna put that whole thing onto a piece of sea glass card base. I ran out of tape there. I had to replace my tape runner. So now once that's in place, what I've done is I've cut out two circles, one with our double stitch circles and one with our single stitch circles, and I'm going to adhere those together. 
It gives you that nice little shadow layer. Okay, and then I'm going to adhere the whole thing onto the center of this card. Okay. Then I've used our Snowflake Trio die to cut one of the white snowflakes. There's three different dies in that collection. I chose the largest snowflake and you can pre-cut lots of these snowflakes so they're ready to go. And I'm gonna use one foam square on the back and adhere this snowflake onto my circle right in the center. There we go. Then I've also pre-cut a little Merry Christmas sentiment strip from our holiday sentiment strip set. And I've used the sentiment strips dies to cut it out. I've got lots of these all pre-cut too. And I'm gonna place that right across the center of this snowflake. There we go. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of connect glue and I'm gonna put a dot on each of the little legs of the snowflakes. I call them snowflake legs. And then I'm going to use some of the disco ball sequins and I'm gonna choose the smallest ones. And I'm going to just pop those right on to those little spots of glue. just to give it a little bit of sparkle. And a few of those there. They're all kind of grouped together. We need one more small one. Here's one. And you can add more if you want in different spots of the snowflake or on the background. But there is my finished card. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's five minute card video and I hope you'll give this card a try. Stay tuned to my channel for more five minute card videos and more live videos too. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you again real soon.